Welcome to the final assignment, week 6. I'm going to be talking about the similarities and differences between the simple synth and reason subtractor synthesizer. And I'll start out by saying uh, they both have three major sections, um, four I guess. Uh, there's the oscillator, low frequency oscillator, the filter, and the amplitude envelope. Over here we have the same thing. We have the oscillators. We have the low frequency oscillators right here. We have the filter section right here and then we have the amplitude envelope um, and also the general functionality of the what you get is is pretty much fundamentally the same but the differences outweigh the similarities quite a bit in uh, this program um, and so uh, I will start with those or go ahead and continue with those um, the simple synthesizer is capable of playing one note while the subtractor synthesizer is capable of playing many notes um, this is called a monosynth, and this one's called a polysynth. Uh, the simple synthesizer contains a single filter, whereas the subtractor contains uh, two filters, and they can be arranged in a parallel or series configuration. So you just what all these changes are really just basically furthering the the tone, the timbre of the sign, uh, the synthesizer for the output you're going to get. All right. Um, so the simple synthesizer um, only has ADSR knobs on the amplitude envelope, whereas uh, the subtractor has ADSR knobs or sliders in this case on the modulation, the filter, and the amplitude. Um, and you know you're just furthering that that control. Um, the simple synthesizer has is pretty much graphical. Uh, basically, most of it is graphical, um, whereas the subtractors, there's no graphic representation at all, um, except for little pictures that kind of look like graphical icons, but not really. Um, the simple synth has uh, a an option for playback speed, whereas the playback speed and done on subtractor is done through the DAW. Um, and next, uh, the subtractor has the ability to invert your your envelopes, your your filter envelopes, or your modulation envelopes for more control. Um, and uh, it has knobs pretty much in every section that allow you to further control frequency resonance, uh, your your oscillator amounts, um, frequency modulation, and delay even. Um, so that's kind of cool. Um, the synthesizer subtractor has a uh, velocity section to control how hard, which controls how hard you, or soft you strike the key, so you can tweak some settings on that one as well. Um, subtractor has two oscillators as well as two LFOs, which is kind of cool. This one only has one. I think that's that gives you more control. Um, and the unique thing for the subtractor is it has phase set, phase offset modulation, which is basically the ability in a way to create a, another sine wave with a single sign so um, you actually have two instead of one within one um, and finally there are pitch pitch bend and modulation control wheels over here and this one doesn't have that at all um, so as you can see it's, there's quite a bit of differences um, there's a, a few I didn't even mention which are kind of relevant irrelevant but uh, if you want to know more you can always check out the manual for subtractor it's by reason propeller head and uh, I think it's a great DAW and to, to let you know this isn't even the only uh, synthesizer they have in the program so if you want to check it out feel free uh, thanks a lot take care